I see the Lord coming your way. I see the Lord touching you. I see the Lord lifting the problem out of your life tonight in Jesus' name. Touch me, Lord. Touch me, Lord. Touch me, Lord. Father, we thank you that everyone that demands, everyone that asks, everyone that desires divine touch, supernatural touch, healing touch, miracle walking touch, mountain moving touch, you have done it already. And we pray by the time we finish the message and the ministration, miracles over there. Miracles over there. Miracles on that side. Miracles outside. Miracles everywhere. We're connected in Jesus' name. We give you the glory because we know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. That's very good. Another Enugu. Amen before you sit down. You are blessed already. Sit down for your divine touch. Tonight, I'm reading a story to you. Why am I reading the story to you? Because the word of God says, Whatsoever things were written, at full time, they're written for our learning. That is, the story I'm reading to you has been written in the Bible for you. And they're reaching for your learning that you, that I, that we, through the comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. There is hope for you tonight. And that hope, you will not miss it in Jesus' name. It says, these things happened unto them. What I'm going to read to you, the woman that came and touch the Lord and the torch drew the virtue of Christ unto her these things were written for our admonition for our instruction for our learning that we who are now living at the end of the age at the end of time will receive the same miracles that, is, that they received and tonight, what everything we read is for you. Every promise we claim is for you. Every touch we have is for you. Every good thing you are going to hear tonight will be transferred into your life. Into my life. I can't hear my good people into your life in jesus name if you have your bible there you open to mark chapter 5 verse 25 if you don't have your bible don't worry i'll read it to you and a certain woman mark chapter 5 verse 25 and a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years Think about that this way. And a certain person, a man, a woman, my friend over there, a certain person which had an issue. Everybody has an issue. For her, an issue of blood. For, her, for other people, issue of failure in life. And for other people, it's the issue of depression issue of disease is an issue of a problem in the family everyone somewhere has an issue and the issue tonight god will bring solution the issue of sin god will bring solution and the issue of weakness impotence in your life god will bring solution and the issue of failure in your life it will turn your failure to success tonight in jesus name some people have an issue 
an issue in the family and that issue in the family the lord will clear it away tonight in jesus name a certain woman a certain person that time this time had an issue for her an issue of blood for 12 years look at verse 26 she had suffered many things of many physicians the physicians there were the people that she thought she could get help from maybe yours is not a physician yes she had suffered many things for many philosophers there are some people they go to philosophers they go to psychologists and they think the problem of their life the issue of their life will be solved by the philosopher by the psychiatrist by the physicians and then it says she suffered many things of many physicians the people who said they were helpers many of us have gone to people that we think could help us and just like she did some people go to local healers other people go to hypnotists other people go to herbalists other people go to traditionalists wherever you have gone and you have not got the solution the solution is here for you tonight the power of God will touch you tonight in Jesus name she had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and she was nothing bettered but rather grew worse rather grow worse and then in verse 27 and when she had heard of Jesus she heard what she heard you are hearing tonight anytime somebody having an issue having a problem having disappointment in life having failure in life having powerlessness and has gone from bad to worse the day the moment you begin to hear about jesus your solution is on the way and then she came in the press behind you know what there are people that here just like many of us are here tonight and over there in the countries where you are every continent we're connected together you are hearing many people here but they do not come they hear they vanish into the thin air there is no decision there is no action they hear they do not come but it's the people that hear and they follow up on what they heard and they come and they forsake those other people the local gurus that they have run after the philosophers they have run after the gang and the occultic powers they have run after they put them to the back and they come as you come today there will be no disappointment in your life she had heard of jesus and came in the press behind press behind the press there is not talking of you know the press journalist is talking of the pressure of the crowd of the multitude some people are lost in the multitude in the press once they see a large crowd they forget why they came they look in at everything happening they become spectators but the woman said i have an issue and i'm going to resolve this issue and you tonight you are there you have an issue you are going to resolve this issue heaven is going to resolve your issue for you in jesus name and so crouch or no crouch press or no press pressure or no pressure as you come the lord will touch you and he touched 
his garment. That's what he was looking for. Peter was there. Uh -uh, I'm not here for Peter. James, John were there. I'm not here for them. I came for Jesus. How many of you came for Jesus tonight? Jesus the healer. Jesus the deliverer. And Jesus your savior, your redeemer. If you come for him and you concentrate on him, he'll touch you tonight. He will touch me tonight. And then in verse 20, look at verse 28. For she said, if I make touch, but his clothes, I shall be whole. She said, I am going with expectation. I am going with faith. I am going with confidence. And she said, the time of her miracle, the moment I touch him, I touch his clothes, I if nobody else gets anything, I shall be whole. When you say that and you are confident, you will not miss your miracle. You say it in your heart. You mean it in your heart. You purpose it in your heart. You decide today is my day. Nothing, no barrier. Nothing, there's no demarcation. Nothing, there is no wall of separation between me and my miracle tonight. If that is your heart, you are going to get it. I shall be made whole. And then look at verse 29. And straightway, that same time, straightway, that same hour, straightway, that same moment, the fountain of our blood was dried up every problem comes from a mount from a fountain every sickness comes from a fountain every deformity comes from a fountain the fountain is not seen the fountain is invisible what we see is what is coming out of the fountain blindness coming out of the fountain Paralysis coming out of the fountain, impotence coming out of the fountain, diabetes coming out of the fountain, the plague coming out of the fountain, the problem you have, the issue you have coming out of the fountain. And then the Lord goes to the fountain of your problem and then he touches you the fountain will dry up. When the fountain dries up, then blind eyes are open. The lame, they rise up and walk. And impossibilities become possible. And Christ is the one, the power of God that touches that fountain and the fountain of all problems will vanish away Praise the Lord, you are healed and delivered today in Jesus' name. And she felt in her body. You know, a fountain, I'm sure you've seen fountain of water before. Fountain of water gushing out, gushing out, gushing out. All around, you will see the effect. When that fountain dries up, you will see the effect everything around will dry up and when the fountain of your problem dries up tonight after the divine touch look at that look at that look at that i will see a miracle upon your life right there and, and then it says she was healed of that plague look at verse 34 in verse 34 it says and he said unto her, daughter, look at that, she became a daughter, daughter of God. Today, you are son. Today, you are daughter. You come, you are invited into the family of God. And you will have a place in the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. 
daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Thy faith has made thee whole. Thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace. Tonight, peace. Trouble, all gone. Confusion, all gone. Powerlessness, all gone. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. That's the story. The story is for you. I'm talking today on the healing virtue or in the divine touch. The healing virtue in the divine touch. Three things very quickly. Number one, the worsening condition without any helpful victory. The worsening condition, she went here, she went there, she went forward, she went backward, she went everywhere without any helpful victory. That was the beginning. Number two, the worthy confession with a hopeful voice. Worthy confession. If I just touch him and he touches me and virtue comes out of him, into my life today i will be made whole that's your confession today i said that's your confession today it will happen i see it coming on you already it will happen day number three is the wonderful cure through his healing virtue the wonderful cure wonder of all wonders that you will carry miracles back home tonight. Salvation, you'll take back home tonight. Healing, you'll take back home tonight. Deliverance, you'll take back home tonight. In Jesus' name, the wonderful cure through his healing virtue. Let's come to number one. Number one is the condition of the woman. The condition where everybody finds himself before he gets to Christ. The worsening condition without any helpful victory. Look at verse 25. It says, And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. Then in verse 26, it says, And had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better but rather grew worse that's the condition in which we find uh, a lot of people check up your life everyone were born as babies and then uh, we have all our parts of the body we're growing up and growing up. By the time we're growing up, we're depreciating. We're becoming worse. Sometimes, before we even become 40, eyesight is gone. Before we become 50, the legs are not functioning well again. We're going from bad to worse. Like this, a woman. And then we begin to seek help here and help there. And yet... The condition is getting worse. That means all around, all I see is decay. Decay that you'll find in that song, Abide With Me. And then as you look at your life, the heart getting weak, eyesight getting dim, joints not moving again, the blood vessels are not running, the kidney, something is happening, is decaying. Everybody getting worse. And then uh, there's a peculiar disease that comes. And that particular disease, they give drugs, they give injection, they give uh, this and all the therapy. And below and behold, things are getting worse. And you're spending money. You're spending time. You're spending your intelligence. You're spending everything you've got. And it appears the condition is getting worse. It's like there is not only decay, 
There's not only depreciation, there's devaluation. Devaluation that people are not worth now what they, what they were worth about 10 years ago. It's like, you know, the beauty is going, the strength is going, the ability is going. Even the things we used to know, forgetfulness is coming in, we're going worse and worse and worse. There is devaluation. That's what happened to the woman. It happens to us, number one, in the body. It happens to us, number two, in our soul, in our emotion. We become so weak, some people, as they go from bad to worse, they cry at every little thing. Depression comes to them and distress comes to them and because of those problems the emotional life is weakening to the point they are just broken down and they go from bad to worse to the body we are becoming worse in the soul we are becoming worse in our spirit the spirit also is getting to a worse and worse and worse condition the things we could stand against before we cannot stand against them anymore and the courage of spirit and the courage in your soul and the courage in your mind that was there before that courage is no more there now morally we're going down spiritually we're going down physically we're going down and then we try to seek help we seek help from advisors and from philosophers and from physicians and from everybody around and all the things they give us we try them some people even try pills before they can sleep they try pills and before they can do anything they have to try pills and all those pills will just weaken you and become dependent on all those pills and you say what am i going to do some people get worse to the point they even try to commit suicide but you will not die before your time the issue in your life will not drive you to that kind of depression devastation in your life in jesus name now if you look at isaiah chapter 1 verse 6 it tells us what happens to a nation what happens to an individual what happens to a family what happens to a tribe what happens to a community it says in isaiah chapter 1 verse 6 it says from the soul of the foot even unto the head there is no soundness in it but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores and they have not been closed neither bound up neither molly mollified with ointment it just saying that they did the that's the situation of the man and that is that what everybody discovers in his own life and then we're told about the woman that even though there was no health and she had gone from physician to physician she spent all that she had she became penniless no health no dignity no life buoyant life powerful life because all the people that were supposed to help they brought her down they got all her money have you spent all your money everything you had looking for solution to the problem and yet everything is becoming worse but now you are hearing of jesus and then you come and the lord says why do you spend your money on we on that which is not bread why do you spend your money on that which will not give you solution all the people that have gone before us and they tried that they went from bad to worse but the lord is going to pick up you up tonight and the, i said the lord will pick you up tonight from that dungeon where you are the dungeon of decay and the fountain of impotence in your life it will draw you up it will take you up and something new will happen in your life in jesus name i'm so happy for you because the divine touch is coming upon your life tonight 
and if you have been going down going down going down today is the day for the lord to touch you and pick you up and lift you up in jesus name Look at 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 12. In 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 12, it says, Yea, verse 13, verse 13, thank you. We're looking at 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 13. But evil men and seducers, evil men and seducers, those who have not been to Christ for the cleansing fountain of the blood, evil men and seducers, those who tempt other people, oppress other people, those who live in sin, and those who have disobedience in their lives, oppression in their lives, and almost is everybody here when i say oppressors maybe you are thinking oh yes mr so and so is a great great oppre oppressor but you know what i found out anyone that has any power at all he does not use all the power profitably he wants to use the power over less privileged people to subdue them to suppress them to oppress them whatever power you have and whatever knowledge you have whatever ability you have if you don't have christ with that ability you don't have christ with those resources in your life you'll use it to oppress other people and evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse worse and worse deceiving and being deceived we've all been there we've all been there when people are sick instead of helping them the people that think uh -huh, now he's weak now she is weak and i'm going to use my health and my power and my ability to subdue him and to suppress him but today all suppression out of your life all oppression out of your life you will come to the lord say i will come say it well i will come and the moment i come say it the moment i come salvation will come to me deliverance will come to me healing will come to me congratulations the lord will touch you tonight look at number two here point number two is the worthy confession with a hopeful voice a person that says no my life will not end like this the lord will confirm it in your life this issue will not take my life the lord will confirm it in your life this fountain that is oozing out and oozing out will not end my life. Amen. There's hope for you. I said there is hope for you. But that hope must come out in your voice. Look at Mark chapter 5 verse 27. It says, When she had heard of Jesus look at that she heard of Jesus two came in the press behind three touched its garment verse 28 for she said if I may touch but his clothes I shall be whole now if you look at that verse 27 number one she heard she paid attention you know some people you tell them about jesus savior he died for you he rose again he will forgive your sin there's no other name whereby you can be saved except the name of jesus because he is the way he is the truth he is the life and when you know him when you get connected with him he shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free and if the son shall make you free ye shall be free indeed tonight is the night of your freedom some people here they don't pay attention 
And so they don't know what they're going to do to be able to connect with that divine touch and with that saving touch and with that sanctifying touch and without, with that strengthening touch and with that healing touch. They hear, they don't understand. And the Bible says when someone hears the word of the kingdom, and he does not understand it then that wicked one cometh and take it from his heart that thing which he had but this woman said i heard satan will not take it away from me i heard activities will not take it away from me i heard people around and their actions will not take it away from me i heard i'm going to keep what i've heard i'm going to act on what i heard and so number one she heard and if you are going to receive help thank god your help is near the number one thing is that you hear you hear that jesus is savior your savior you hear that jesus is healer your healer you hear that jesus is deliverer it will break every chain every shackle in your life in jesus name i remember some years ago when we were in onicha in the southeast here and then this man was having insanity totally totally mad change in the hand and padlock because he was wild violent like an animal and then we we spoke about jesus jesus our deliverer and he heard even though he had mental problem he heard and then when we prayed i said when i pray in the name of jesus the hand of the lord will touch you all your problems will be taken away and he believed even though it was a mental problem and then we prayed and said in jesus name you are delivered and onicha people the onicha people not to say amen just like enogon people Praise the Lord. And when they said amen, the man came to his senses. All the things that bound him in the heart, everything was taken away. And he came and said, Why did they put this on my hand? And then the chains were removed, the padlock was removed, and he came to give testimony. And that man almost became a preacher. He said, I have delivered, and I put it to your mouth tonight. You are delivered. Say, I am delivered. This woman heard, he heard that Jesus is Savior. He heard that Jesus is healer. He heard that Jesus is deliverer. And came. And came. It's not everybody that has heard that gets saved. Only the people that hear and they come. It's not everybody that has heard that gets healed. Only the people that hear and they come and as you come tonight you act on the word you have heard and the healing virtue of the lord will flow into your body and the saving virtue of the lord will flow into your body and the sanctifying virtue in christ as you touch him will flow into your spirit and the strengthening virtue that virtue of Christ gives us strength, gives us salvation, gives us sanctification, holiness without which no man shall see the Lord, and gives us strength, power in the Holy Ghost. And tonight, power will come to your life in Jesus' name. She came in the press. That's the crowd. There are people that forget their request, forget why they came, they become a spectator as they see the crowd. But this woman said, I've carried this issue for 12 years and I'm not going to allow any press, any pressure, 
any crowd, any multitude to hinder me. I see Jesus there. I'm getting to him. I'm not even going to say I want to shake hands with him. All I want to do is touch the hem of his garment. And the moment I touch the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole from 12 years problem whatever the number of years your problem upstage whatever the number of years you've been carrying what you are carrying did you hear that testimony of uh, that our young sister that had fibroid four pieces like balls and she came yesterday and she paid attention like you are paying attention and the lord touched her yesterday and then she got back home lo and behold everything came out yeah. once the fountain is touched everything every pollution every plague every disease every infirmity from that fountain will come out of your body and then she said, if I only touch, I only touch his clothes, I shall be made whole. Look at verse 29. In verse 29, it says, and straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up. Cancer dried up. Diabetes dried up. The works of Satan dried up. The power of evil dried up. Your tears dried up. A miracle touch is coming your way. And then, look at this. She felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. She felt in her body let me tell you this sometimes the feeling in your body after you hear the name of jesus can be so small like when elijah prayed and then he sent his servant out he had prayed for rain not only rain in a village in a town in a community in the whole nation of israel and the rain of blessing, of miracle, is going to fall tonight. Yeah. At Tenugo here, it will fall for everyone. Yeah. In the whole of the nation, Nigeria, in every city, every town, the rain of miracles will fall in Jesus' name. Yeah. In all the countries of Africa, and in all, in all the cities, everywhere, America, Asia, those who are online, you are in your home there, pay attention, you hear, you come, and then you voice it out, and you confess, when I touch him, he touches me, all the fountain of my problems, everything will dry up. Give me a good amen. like a little cloud elijah said to his servant go and see check up and he came back i see nothing some people they end the meeting at that point but elijah said go and check up again he came back and said i see nothing some people they say I don't want to miss the bus. I don't want to miss the car. I'm going now. Wait, check up. You will see the miracle there. The third time he went and came back and I see nothing. Elijah said, you must see not something. What kind of eyes do you have? Eyes of unbelief, eyes of discouragement, 
eyes of tradition eyes of habit or the eyes of faith go back and see and then at the seventh time he said i see somebody there i see somebody there i see somebody there i see a small cloud like a man's hand what i'm saying is when you check up it might be a little feeling it's not big it's not enormous a little feeling she felt in her body that little feeling is the forerunner of the mighty reign of miracle in your life and so you will act on that if you have a little urge to stand up you stand up if you have a little urge to open your eyes and see you open your eyes miracle sight will be given unto you a little urge to look at the place where the swelling was touch it it's still hard touch it again it's still hard. touch it again that thing must go out of that place she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague look at Vastachi it says in Vastachi and Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him virtue had gone out of him all the time even when Jesus was not praying virtue coming out of him even when he appeared just walking and is not taking note of anyone virtue coming out of him you know what Jesus is now by the right hand of the Heavenly Father and he's sitting there and he knows about this divine touch for total freedom his attention is now on you and virtue is going to come out of him on your life in jesus name once there's somebody that has an issue and has a faith and is going to touch and is having expectation once there's somebody here there anywhere wanting to touch him now the lord is paying attention to you and that divine touch is going to come upon your life virtue is gone out of him and it turned him about in the press and said who touched my clothes he knew is jesus is the son of god he knows all things but he wanted the woman to come out give testimony and say i am and tonight i say i am who touched his clothes i am the one i said i am the one who has got the healing virtue tonight i am who has got the saving touch tonight i am who is getting the miracle tonight i am who touch my clothes look at verse 31 and then it says in verse 31 and his disciples said unto him thou seest the multitude thronging thee and thou seest who touched me and then in verse 32 it says and he looked around they bowed to see her he will see you he looked around about him to see her that had done this thing and then in verse 33 and the woman fearing and trembling uh -uh. why was she afraid because a woman having an issue of blood was unclean in Israel and she wasn't to touch any utensil any couch any chair any bed anything anybody and she of all people should not touch the high priest 
she had not touched a priest she was unclean and jesus christ the high priest come from heaven and now jesus turned around and said who touched me and the woman was afraid i have done what i should not have done no woman don't be afraid and don't tremble when the unclean touches christ all the uncleanness will vanish away when the defiled touches jesus all the defilement will vanish away when a terrible sinner a rejected sinner when he touches the lord the savior all the sin will vanish away and when you touch the lord he doesn't catch your uncleanness your catch is health your catch is power your catch is virtue and then all those unclean things in your life touching jesus that's all everything will vanish away and then she stood and told him all the truth public confession public testimony you have a testimony i have a testimony he will forgive your sin he will save your soul he will change your life and the fountain of sin the fountain of defilement in your life will be dried up tonight in jesus name i believe I believe be it unto you according to your faith look at point number three now point number three the wonderful kill through is healing virtue wonderful kill wonderful conversion wonderful cleansing wonderful healing wonderful deliverance as the healing, saving touch of the Lord comes upon you today. Let me have a good amen. Look at verse 34. Verse 34, it tells us, and he said unto her, he will talk to you tonight. The smile of heaven is coming upon your life. The glory, the goodness of heaven is coming upon your life. And that weakness in your body will vanish away. And that sickness in your body will vanish away. And the sin, the captivating sin that holds you captive, all that will be taken away tonight in Jesus' name. And he said unto her, daughter, and he says unto you, son, you know, to become a son of God, a daughter of God, come out from among them and be ye clean and touch not the unclean thing. And I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and my daughters, says the Lord Almighty. Tonight, as you come out of the crowd, I don't mean this crowd out of the crowd of sinners out of the crowd of your gang out of the crowd of idol worshippers out of the crowd of evil doers and you come tonight and you touch the lord his salvation will come to you as many as received him to them he gave power to become the sons and the daughters of god even those that believe on his name as you believe on his name tonight you become a daughter i didn't hear the daughters even you become a son in Jesus' name. Now, are we the sons of God? And it does not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when we shall see him, 
will be like him he doesn't have cancer you'll not have cancer he doesn't have brain problem you'll not have brain problem he doesn't have infirmity you'll not have infirmity we will we'll be like him for we shall see him as he is daughter thy faith has made thee whole yeah. thy faith has made thee whole yeah. oh somebody says a hey, pastor i wish i had faith of course you have faith thy faith thy faith you know the problem sometimes the faith is like a grain of mustard seed as when a grain of sand is in your pocket you're not feeling it it's not weighty a grain of rice is in your pocket you'll not feel it the grain of mustard seed faith is in your heart right now because you know god is no respect of persons if he did it for her he will do it for me he will do it for me it will dry the fountain it will save your soul whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be healed that faith will set you free tonight thy faith has made thee whole you are not incomplete anymore the faith has made thee whole impotence will vanish out of your life whole complete no lack no limitation you are made whole tonight in jesus name that thing boiling in your head will cool down and all those things walking about in your body, everything will vanish away. Thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace. When the Prince of Peace tells you, go in peace, your sins are forgiven, go in peace. The power that held you captive before is broken and shattered. Go in peace. There is peace in your heart. The peace of salvation. The peace of forgiveness. And the peace of redemption. Go in peace. And as you go, the whole of thy plague. No more plague no more sickness no more powerlessness no more pennilessness no more injury in your life she heard she came in the press she said if i only touch the hem of his garment I shall be made whole. She got what she confessed. You'll get what you, what you confess. Somebody there, salvation is coming to you. Where are you? I said, where are you? Salvation coming to you. Healing coming to you. Freedom coming to you. The peace of God was settled in your heart right now. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. Your moment has now come. Your time of salvation has now come. Your time of redemption has now come. He will touch you and healing virtue will flow into your life the saving virtue will flow into your life you come 
and you want all the defilement of sin taken away from your life all the guilt condemnation of sin uh, taken away from your life you want the fear of judgment for your sin taken away from your life you want to experience the forgiveness of god the salvation of god and the peace that comes with salvation wherever you are raise up that hand remember the woman heard you've heard now you must come 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 he she came and then the saving virtue of the lord that brings peace walked in her life anywhere you are in any congregation in any country in your own house you are online you are online and you want that salvation of the lord now just raise up your hand where you are leave every other sin now concentrate on this the saving touch of the lord is coming upon your life you are raising up your hand wherever you are over here over there please stand up this is your time please stand up stand up stand up she took a step she acted out her faith she said i will touch him i will touch him you're indicating by standing up i want all my sins forgiven if you are not sure of heaven you must stand up you might be a church goer and you might be a bible reader and you might be a singer a hymn singer you might be a person paying tithes and offering in the church but you do not have assurance that if you dropped dead now you'll get to heaven the divine touch of the lord will come upon you and forgive your sin and save your soul that's why you've heard now you have to come and you indicate your calm by just standing upright there then uh, tell the lord oh lord tell him tell him oh lord i believe and i accept you are my lord and my savior by my faith by my confession i touch you now let your saving virtue flow into my life forgive me Grant me peace in my heart, in my spirit. Grant me the strengthening virtue to go and sin no more. And now begin to live in newness of life. Tell him, believe that small grain of faith that you have. Say, yes, Lord, I believe by my will i've surrendered myself to you and you said whosoever comes to you you will in no wise cast off you have accepted me thank you lord i have the peace i have the forgiveness i have the salvation thank you lord it's done I pray for you now father in jesus name i pray for everyone who has heard who has come and who is receiving your forgiveness and peace right now forgive them in jesus name let your salvation come to every heart here there online every country everywhere lord you're no respect of persons save them forgive them give them your peace now in jesus name we thank you lord we know you have answered it is done you have saved them they have faith in you you have forgiven them Confirm it in every heart in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray.
please keep on standing our counselors are coming to you right there and want to get the details from you so that we'll keep on helping the same thing with all our brethren online and all those who are congregated in churches anywhere everywhere in every country let's do this one reverently and seriously wholeheartedly and then i'll come back all your yokes are broken tonight give me a good good and no going amen Cancer of priests attend to them quickly. Get their names. All the details that is required. Please fill it correctly. After that, you return to the ushers and to the counselors. And counselors, please, immediately you finish, you give the card, all the cards to the person coordinating. And those who are online, please get the forms. You see the link over there. Fill the forms and submit through the same link. And the Lord will continue to hold you. It's for us to be able to reach you and to be of greater help. And those who are listening over the radio and you have made that decision. In every any village, anywhere you have made the issue, please identify yourself and the Lord will hold you. Please cancel us quickly. Let's attend to them outside, inside, in all the halls. We do not expect any counselor to be idle now. Is the time. We should get busy. Please quickly identify them. Those of them who can write, give them to write. And after they have completed the form, they return to you. Look at it to ensure that everything is correctly fit. Please give us your name, your address, and the name in that you are known for in the place where you live. If it's a village, tell us how to identify you, how to get to you. Don't just fill the name, and that is all. Your name, your address, and then your phone number. All the details that are there. After you are filled, you return the form, the card, to the cancerous, then they will give you the converse package containing the letter from the man of God to you, showing you how in a systematic way you'll be able to grow in your faith. And also you have a number of things there in that package that will help you like four steps to life. You read through and you follow it and I'm telling you, you will be a growing Christian. Cancel us, please, in all the halls. Let's get to them and take their names and their details. And those who are online, please get the form, download the form, fill it, or fill it online and submit same. And in all the other locations, please, this is counseling period. This is the time we need to get all the details of all the people that made the additions in all those locations. And for those who are just there, if I were you, you are not part of those who made the issue, you will be telling the Lord, Father, I will not let you go tonight. You will visit me. You will touch me. Cancel us, please. Let's be fast so that we can get back to the time of miracle prayer. 
those who are outside priests our supervisors outside ensure that everyone that indicated and those in the youth hall the Igbo audience please I believe that people are there counseling them and getting all the necessary informations let all that gave their life to Christ be attended to please and let's ensure that the cards are correctly filled and once you are true in your hall please indicate and let us know Hall one, are we all right? Okay, thank you. God bless you. Hall two, and when you finish from the hall where you are, please quickly get outside and help our people because we have more, much more people outside than inside. So many. So you quickly get there to help us. Don't just limit yourself to the hall where you are please so that we can quickly round off hall two are we true god bless you hall three are we true in hall three okay god bless you hall four are we true the immediate hall by my please let's tidy up quickly hall five it's okay let's tidy up quickly Hall six, are we okay? Yeah, true. God bless you. Hall seven, are we true in hall seven? Okay, God bless you. Please, let's attend to the people at the back of hall seven. The overflow over there. The same for hall five. Quickly, attend to the overflow over there. Those who are outside, please, are we true? If you are true, please, so advise us come in and indicate outside please are we true in all the halls we are true now what of outside our leaders outside please let me know if you are true we don't want anybody to be negated or bypassed everybody who gave their life to christ needs to be attended to and the same thing all over the locations and the online audience too. Okay. You are true in hall outside over there. What of outside to my middle? To the middle? Okay. Thank you very much. God bless you. Now it's time for miracle prayer. And the man of God is coming now. Rise on your feet. And receive your needed miracle. Praise the Lord. Amen. Your time has come. Amen. Why are you there? Remember, remember, she heard, she came in the press, did not allow multitudes, things around. To the stop, she centered her attention on the Lord, and then she said, The moment I touch him, I shall be made whole. When you hear the name of Jesus, that's the connecting touch. I said, That's your connecting touch. The feeling you have may be a little. The urge you have may be a little. That little feeling urge, that's the evidence of the touch. And the servant of Elijah went and went and stayed there until the mighty rain came. You check yourself. If you are lame, you rise up and go walking like I'm walking. If you are blind, you open your eyes, you will see like I'm seeing. If you have arthritis, when you hear the name of Jesus, you believe, you get up, you fold, you stretch, just like me, you'll be all right. 
I will be all right. Online people, say it where you are. I will be all right. Anywhere you are in any location that divine touch is coming upon you tonight, miracle, yeah. healing, yeah. deliverance. Yeah. Raise up your hand, touch the other place where you have the problem is coming. When you hear that name, Jesus, the fountain of your issue will be dried up. Father, in Jesus' name, we give you thanks. We give you praise because your attention is upon all your people everywhere right now in Jesus' name. By faith, we touch you. The blind, the lame, the deaf, the dumb, the cancer patient, the one that is having tuberculosis, and the one that has goiter, an hunchback, elephantiasis, any kind of disease, or they have leukemia, or prostate, or it's diabetes. Right now, by faith, everyone will touch you in Jesus' name. <laughs> Healing virtue from heaven. Powerful virtue from heaven. Deliverance virtue from heaven. Miracle walking virtue from heaven. Mountain moving virtue from heaven. Supernatural torch and virtue from heaven. Upon everyone right now. My right, to my left, to my front, outside, everywhere, anywhere in all congregations in all countries with all individuals and families everyone connected now connect them with your miracle power lord it is done we believe it is done we know it is done we confess it is done thank you lord in Jesus' name we pray. The miracle is there right now. The healing is there right now. The power is there right now. A little feeling, a little urge. That say that say right there. You can open your eyes and see. And then if you brought deaf and dumb people, talk to them. Everything is all right. You're in a wheelchair. You can rise up now. You are walking with Walker. You can rise up now. You have been bedridden and impotent. You can rise up now. Power has come upon your life. You have got it. You have got it. You have got it. Begin to do what you are not able to do before. Begin to do what you are not able to do before. If you were blind, open your eyes, you can see now. You are lame, begin to work. Wherever you are, begin to do what you are not able to do. Test them now. Don't sit down, check yourself. Don't sit down, check yourself. Because the miracle power has been released. Where are you? God has done it. The swelling is gone. Somebody is shouting over you already. Somebody is shouting. You have got it. As you have got your own, shall praise the Lord and begin to come out. Come to hall number six. Everywhere, outside, inside, everywhere. Your wheelchair rise up. Now, she's walking already. She's walking over there. She's walking over there. Keep coming, keep coming. Anywhere you are, just come out. The Lord has touched you. The power has been released. Where are you? Where are you? Rise out of your wheelchair. Drop your crutches. Drop your walking stick. And begin to walk. Are you paralyzed? 
Were you struck with stroke? Just keep coming out. Come out. Come home to all number six. Join them. God bless you. Jam that hand. Very well for Jesus. Just keep coming. Keep coming. Make way for them. Make way for them. The Lord have done it. Rise up. Drop your walker. Drop your crutches. It is happening. It has happened. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Bring them to all number six. Wonderful. Jam your hand together for Jesus. This is power night. What God has done shall be permanent. Check yourself. Where are you? Come to all number six. Bring them out from outside, from inside, everywhere you are. Wonderful. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. As you discover, see her walking. See her walking. As you discover your miracle, just come out. See her. Look at her. Wonderful. The Lord is at work. Keep coming from all seven, from all six, from all five, all four, three, two, and one. Keep coming outside. Check yourself. As you discover your miracle, the swearing is gone. Come out here. Or you got your miracle yesterday and you are not able to give your testimony. Come out here. Keep checking, keep checking. Keep checking yourself. Wonderful. Wonderful. Are you on wheelchair? Just rise out of your wheelchair. Rise up. Are you using waka? Just drop it, come out. The God of miracle is at work. Divine touch. See, see, see him coming. Miracle. Jam your hand together, be brethren. Shake yourself. This is night of power, night of wonders. In all the other location, in all the other location, online. In all our location, all over the world, check yourself. Because the power of God has touched you. Don't be a spectator. Don't be a spectator. Check yourself. As you describe, the swelling is gone, come out. The ulcer is gone, come out. The cancer is gone, come out. The goiter is gone, come out. The hunchback. The Lord has done it. Check yourself. Check yourself. This is not the time to relax. The miracle power of God is moving already. Power night. Power night. Yes, keep coming. Keep coming. Make way for them, please. Don't block the eyes. Don't block the eyes. Make way. Let them come. Come out tonight. is night of power. The Lord has done it. Are you deaf and dumb? Speak to them now. You will discover they can speak and they can hear. Whatever the problem, the Lord has taken away that problem from the fountain. That issue is gone. As you describe your miracle, come to hall number six. Our leaders are there. Bring them out. Bring them out. Leaders, please, let's interview them. And then line them up for testimony and online and in all the other locations, satellite location. Get ready your own testimony because we, we are going to hear your own testimony. Whatever the problem, elephantiasis is gone, hunchback is gone. Shake yourself.
Amen. Check yourself. Please, let's get the testifiers ready. Once you are ready, you let me know. Wonderful. Look at the crushes going up. Wonderful. Wonderful. Check yourself. The power has been released. Please, make way for them. Clear from the aisles. Wonderful. God is great. Outside, keep coming. God is at work. Please, clear the way. Anywhere you are. The power of God has been released. The power of God has been released. Wonderful. Shake yourself. Whatever you are not able to do before, begin to do it now. The Lord has released his power. You are not a spectator. Are you strike by stroke? Rise up now. Don't stop lying down. Get up. The power of God has been released. It's happening over there. It's happening over there. This is power night. It's happening over there. Check yourself and come and bring them out. Bring them out. Whatever problem, you have no more problem. It has been taken away from the fountain. And all over, check up. The Lord have done it tonight. Lord have done it. As we begin now to listen to testimony, please begin to keep on checking yourself. The power has been released. The miracle is happening right there. Keep on checking yourself. Your wheelchair, as you begin to hear testimony, you rise up and come out and the Lord have done it. We want to start with testimonies. Right now, you can have your seat bought. Keep on checking up. You are sitting on the on the promises, not on your problem. Once you discover the miracle, you keep coming. Let's hear the first person, please. Keep checking up as testimony is going on. Something is happening over there too. Something happened over there. Please let that person come out. Once you discover the miracle, bring them out. See, it's happening here. Wonderful. This God. Keep coming, keep coming. Bring them out. I'm telling you, tonight is power night. Tonight is power night. Anywhere you are, check yourself. As you listen to this one, don't keep checking. Keep coming, keep coming. See this one walking from here. That one happening over there. Happening over there. You know. Outside, check yourself. Amen. As you are coming out, keep checking yourself. Let's take the first testimony. Praise the Lord. 
through nine. Nine no. Nine no. Ah, ma can kid you, ma kiabia. Ma can kid you, ma kiabia. Ah, oh, Patricia is there. Oh, now make them go. Go on. Since I prepare yet to say it again. Anamaga, Anamaga, Nate, Nate, Anna, you know, Tineke. So what happened, sister? Please go straight to the testimony now. Anna, I know you are. Her name is Crusade. But I got, 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 and I do what I don't do before. I don't pop. I do everything. How long has the problem been oh, there? Tineke. Tineke mele meje ije. Eh, meje ije. Ije meje ho for three years. Put your hand together for Jesus. Thank you. God bless you. It shall be permanent. Thank you. She has not worked for 17 years. But after the prayer of the man of God, you said, man of God, you are welcome. You came because of me. After his prayer, now she's walking and full of joy. Jam your hand together for Jesus. You never can tell. Somebody lying without working for 17 years. It's not easy. Let's see her. Onye oma mere mumma. Amen. The next testifier, please. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Last year, March. I was afflicted with leg ulcer. So as man of God played, after he played, he said that everybody should wake up. Then I stand up immediately. Then my leg is okay. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. My name is Ucho Kongpo. From above your Kunano. Amen. Lake Ulsa. Since last year, she can't walk with it. She uses crutches, but now she can put the leg on the ground. You can see how can see him walking. Can see him going. Can see him going. No more pain. And it's gone and gone forever. God bless you. Go enjoy your miracle. The next person. Praise the Lord. My name is uh, Pastor Ugoke Christopher Ifai of Deeper Life Bible Church, Obolo region. So it happened on the last uh, crusade held at Kalaba, signs and wonders uh, for the needy. I was terribly sick. I went to uh, lab text and uh, it was discovered that I'm having complicated uh, issues so uh, I was about dying and I was having I was having low BP arthritis infection ulcer and uh, all over my body very very painful to me so I started the treatment which was just the first week and i was almost dying so i could not even uh, pastor in my church to stand up there and i have to i phoned the doctor that is there to see me so i should come up with all those drugs he has given to me i took up i took them up back to him and he said he should change it and i told god 
If cannot kill me, there's no other physician that can help me out. By the grace of God, the second day to the last uh, program at the GS Parade, I got my healing completely and permanently. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. As you are listening to the testimony, keep examining yourself because the power has been released. We take one more testimony, then we go to the social media. Go ahead, the next testify after him. Praise the Lord. Apa mo Peter Otobo. Since last year, ka ukumbu ne boom. Man ma ukumbu. Since last year, and the moe we ke mm kiroro ike mm kiroro ike mo kam furo we tihe. So ka m ka atori ha. My mother sim. My mother, Sim Nanga, Nanga is where Jenia Unsia O Nanga Ji. So, Orute, Otenya, the team, they are kind of worst. Unsia Namuama and Joke Yao, or Sim Mukadogde, Noga Demuma. So, Unquado de Quado de Quadice, I bago den suka. The team. Ukuma, Dadia, or Bia Kara was. So, you open the food there. All them come more natural bars. But my mother, Slim, continue, I do by nature. Koru Teritata, man of God in the big building, Adam Neba, Okoro Mikoto, Kopeche, Kambia, and we told him. Amen. He gave his testimony and he said he have been having problem on the spinal waist pain and they cannot stand. Was brought here the day before yesterday, that's uh, yesterday, and he was lying in all seats at the back. Cannot get up, cannot stand, cannot walk. And the pain became worse. He was even discouraged, thinking of going back. But the mother encouraged him. But after prayer tonight, she stood, he stood up from that back. And he stood up this while. No more pain. He is well. And he's healed completely. Jam your hand together for Jesus. Now we go to online to listen to miracles happening all over the world online we begin at aneke chizoba aneke chizoba the fornicator is not worthy the adulterer is not worthy the gambler is not worthy. The thief is not worthy. A violent, fighting man or woman is not worthy. And the one that is going from woman to woman is not worthy. Just going to church does not cleanse anybody. It is when you make up your mind, today I'm taking a personal, definite decision. I'm coming to the Lord. Cleansing will come. Jesus Christ shed his blood. In the same blood, what can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Anywhere you are, and you are there online, in your room, in a hotel room, in your garden, anywhere you are seated with your family or by yourself, and you are listening now, and you want to surrender and give your life unto the Lord. This is a sacred moment. Anywhere you are, raise up that hand to say, Lord, I come with all my heart, with all my soul. I turn away from my sin and I turn to Jesus, my Savior. As you come, the Lord will receive you. Father, 
we thank you. Thank you for the call. Call to salvation. Call to forgiveness. Call to repentance. I pray for all these who are standing, those who are by themselves, those who are before the screen, and those who are connected now. And they want the mercy. They want the compassion. They want the salvation of the Lord. Give them the assurance of salvation in Jesus' name. Let your spirit bear witness in their hearts that they are now children of God. We thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. That clip you just watched is right now on Pastor W.F. Komoe's Facebook page. Share a quick steps to like and share this video that you've just seen. Log into your Facebook account. Two, navigate to Pastor Komoe's official Facebook page. Click on the like option. Then you have liked the video. To share the video, one, click on the share button. You can now share on WhatsApp, share on Facebook, share to groups, share to family and friends listen to this someone somewhere is crying someone somewhere is dying why would you let them die send them this clip now help someone out of the dungeon of despair don't hear this alone spread it to your family and friends tell someone to tell someone and this way everyone will be liberated this crusade is ongoing till the 31st of august and all must be set free divine touch for total freedom with an international gospel evangelist pastor dr w f kumi ministering alongside an international gospel artist Dan Moen, let everyone be set free. And with that, we move to testimonies of freedom happening immediately after the prayers of the man of God. Aneke Chizoba has been having pain on her hips since yesterday. It became worse after she woke up this morning. But when the man of God prayed, he said, Place one hand on your body and raise the other one up. And Neke Chizobas wrote that instantaneously she was healed and the pain disappeared. Praise the Lord. And now all the way from Ifoma Ogbodo online, the train of divine touch touched her as she has been having pain in her ankle for some time. But after the prayer of the man of God, something again about the final amen. And after the final amen, the pain miraculously and instantly disappeared. Praise the Lord. Precious Cyprian received a precious miracle. He said, I thank God for his divine touch of healing upon my life tonight. Specifically, he was healed from recurring infection that started few months ago. After the prayer, infection is gone. Praise the Lord. And now we go all the way again from online. This is coming from Sister Buki. Re divine touch she received happened to touch a stomach pain which started today. The pain has been disturbing such that even throughout the message, she could not really concentrate. But towards the end of the message, she felt a sensation in her tummy. And after the prayer, lo and behold, the pain vanished completely. Amen. We take you to the United Kingdom where Sister Debari wrote, I've been having severe pains at my right shoulder for four years now. Before the JS preaching, she told herself that she would believe. And at the end of the message, after that final amen, healing took place. And she said, 
she read till 3 a.m. this morning and found out that all the pains had totally disappeared. Praise the Lord. And now this is coming from Priscilla Ayomiku. She says, I have a wonderful testimony. And this has been about a divine touch releasing my kidnapped friend. We have been praying since yesterday. And the divine touch as was going on today, she was released. Thank you, Jesus. We move finally to River State Live before we return to the state overseer. And here is the testimony live from River State. Praise the Lord. This is another testimony coming from River State, right here in the Bonnie region. We can see our father here. He's been going through sharp pains since the year 2012 after he was hit by a strange bullet. But by the grace of God, at the amen of the man of God tonight, the whole pains of 12 years is done. Praise the Lord. You can hear from him now. I thank God for God has healed me. My name is Sonny Johnson in Bonin region. And I thank God for healing me today, today, just today. As the man of God prayed, and then I got the healing. After final, amen. Amen. And now we return to the state of Asia. We want to take the next testifier and as I listen to the testimony, please keep checking yourself because the power of God has been released and you never live here the same. Let's listen to the next person, please. Praise the Lord, praise the living Jesus. My name is Damian Honor Andrew. I'm from Isuzu region. And I want to thank God for how God delivered me from a pain. I had a pain on my right ear. It was disturbing me since last semester. It was very difficult for me to read each time the pain starts. Even this semester, it started like that. It goes, it comes. But I told God this program, I'm going to receive my touch. And I received this touch yesterday. But I could not give the testimony. So this evening, I said I am going to testify that I have received my touch. Praise the living Jesus! Put your hands together for Jesus. The Lord touched him yesterday. He wanted to be sure. Now he is sure. And he came and gave testimony. Another person, please. The next testifier. I am Ayubnam Victory Tochibu. I am from Atala, Okanot in Anambra State. It is a joyful thing to see the man of God. Throughout his ministration, my inner man was revived and was refreshed. And I pray God give him more hundred years ahead in his ministry. In Jesus' name, amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. The next person, please. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. My name is Annie David. I'm from Amod region, Deeper Life. The Lord has been great for me. What He done for me is not easy. A woman cannot do it for me, any man cannot do it for me. I will never ever doubt my God, though. 
I will never doubt Amen. my God. Please oh. go to your. I will never ever doubt my God. Oh. His mercy is for real. I can never ever doubt Thank my you, God. Thank you, please, brother. Oh. Let's have your testimony. My God, oh. I can never ever doubt my God. The next testifier, please. Please go straight to your testimony when you get there, please. T your name, your testimony. Please, no singing, please. So that others can be given opportunity. Praise the Lord. My name is uh, Sister Angela Ungoke from Aku region. I want to bless the name of the Lord for the great things that he has done for me and for this my little girl here. It was during the last uh, crusade, Saints and Wonders for the Needy, that the Lord Almighty visited me. So, I was suffering from ulcer for good 12 years now, but during the, the crusade, after the ministration of the man of God, and now we, we now went home. And even this my little girl was suffering from ulcer too for about six years and now. So after the ministration of the man of God on the last day of the crusade, we now went home. And this girl called to our dad and said, Daddy, do you know that the ulcer is gone? She, so he said to her, how do you know that the ulcer is gone? So she narrated everything uh, about the, the thing because she used to vomit uh, blood before. But after the, the prayers, this, everything concerning the ulcer just vanished away. And it reminded me of something that I should check up myself too. And I checked up myself, the, the severe pains caused by the ulcer, everything about the ulcer, I found out that everything vanished away. And I bless the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. Did you not hear that testimony? The child had been suffering also, even sometimes vomiting blood. But now, after the prayer, during the last program, everything was cleared up. No more vomiting of blood, no more also. Put your hand together for Jesus. And keep examining yourself because the Lord has done it for you too. That's another miracle happening. Bring, let him come this way. Let him come this way. Bring him, bring him down this way. I tell you, as the testimony is going on, miracle power abilities, keep checking yourself. It has happened. It has happened. It has happened. Why the testimony is going on? Check yourself. You must not take your problem home. Leaders interview them and make sure everything is well ordered. Amen. We take the next testifier. The next testimony, please. After that, we go to online audience. Another has happened. I'm telling you, as the testimony is going on, it's happening right there where you are. Let's listen to the next testifier, please. Praise the Lord. By God's grace, my name is Brother Anointy, all the way from Kongi State, Angpa region. I'm here to testify the goodness of God upon my life. For more than five years, I'll be having serious chest pain in my body here, in my left side. So believing God yesterday, having faith in Him, I see God do touch me with divine touch in my life. And that pain for more than five years disappear immediately. And also seeing God healing me. Yeah, this evening, I see how God touched me. I was healed of shoulder pain this evening. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together and celebrate this great miracle of God. Amen. Keep checking yourself. As you see the miracle, you come out. 
Let's hear from our online audience, please. And remember, tomorrow's meeting starts by 4 p.m. 4 o'clock tomorrow. Let's listen to our online audience, if we have some. From the online, miracles happening instantaneously. Victory Hwantia had nausea, vomiting, and stomach disorder. This happened after she drank some things given to her by her parents, despite her disapproval. It got worse for four weeks. The problem got so serious, no appetite to eat, and she was lying down after all the problems. But during the prayer, the man of God prayed. She wrote, I suddenly became strong. I jumped up, and I said, I want to eat, and I don't throw up again. God has done wonders in her life. Praise the Lord. And this is coming live from Facebook. Again, something about that final amen. Joy Okenwa says, I had this pain after a 20 kilometer run. And as a result, serious pains on my both legs. But at the final amen tonight, the pains disappeared. Praise the Lord. All the way from the United Arab Emirates, Am Isosa wrote, I am watching from my workplace. I had running nose and I had serious aches immediately after the prayers. As the man of God finished, everything dried up instantaneously. And he wrote, I am healed completely. Praise the Lord. And now I have this from Blessing Sonia Wakama on Facebook. The divine touch came upon her and depression is gone. More testimonies coming from the social media. As from the international perspective, we see this testimony written. He says, I have been having pains all this while. But the pains just after the prayer of the man of God vanished away. This is Joy Okinwa from London. And then we have this other one from Bene Republic. A particular sickness was eating this man's bones in the leg. And the leg that was supposed to be cut off got miraculously healed tonight after the prayer of the man of God. According to his writing, I have thrown away the cane. I can walk perfectly now. Praise the Lord. We now return to the state overseer. Put your hands together for such testimonies. God is good. Amen. We listen to live testimony from here. You can Praise go ahead. The Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, this morning, let me just go straight to the testimony. This morning, when I just came out before the message, before the program started this, I mean this evening, I was going outside to buy something. You know, the security we are was holding this girl. They say, come, come, come. Look at the chain they used to chain her. They say, come, 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 come. That you don't go anywhere, you don't go anywhere. Uh -uh. I was looking at this small girl like this. I said, ah, this person like this is behaving this somehow like this. I said, ah. After I, just, I was at, at the back watching what they were doing, I said, okay, let me go on my own. I called her. I said, come. What is the problem? I said, do you know about Jesus? It's only Jesus that can set you free. He said, eh, 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 eh. just one kind statement. I said, it's only Jesus that can set you free. 
I said, remove the chain from her leg. We remove the chain. We drag her, I drag her, drag her with the mother. We drag her, we start going. I tell her, it's only Jesus that can set you free. Only Jesus. Accept him. Believe on him. You will see something great will happen. We drag her, drag her, almost drag her almost near the supermarket there. She behaves somehow. We chain her. Children was, she saw it. Children was all over her, looking at her. We, we were praying. I said, God, this girl will never go back here the same. You ask, when I not chain her on one, on one high on like that. I chain her leg, chain her there. We stayed there. I was inside the hall here, praying for her. Say, God, as you have healed me, you will heal this girl. You will heal this girl. After the prayer, they say, check up. I went outside. I lose the chain from her. I said, stand up. Your miracle is there. Stand up. Your miracle is there. She rose up. Behold. She's smiling. Look at her. She can say her name. She can tell you who she is. Praise the Lord. Now ask her the name, her name then. Her name is Ada. Amen. Put your hand together for Jesus. This kind God is kind. smart, violent, and was chained. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, the chain was removed, she came to her senses, and it's going to be permanent. Put your hand together for Jesus. The next testifier, please. Program. So our dad in the Lord in the message. So our form Biahu come came on board a main message. Oh, what he made name. So talk a he had a a name so good. Man, we all be the only the message. We all be the only be. But I say, if I want to marry you, where the problem give me, give give you that can never. Where did that can I form? Immediately on the end of the prayer, I form a home where disappear. Praise the Lord. Put your hand together for Jesus. Remember, as you are listening to others' testimony, your own testimony is taking place. She has problem with her stomach. Something hooked her. She can, you know, express. I mean, get up or move out. Not that she was almost useless. But after the prayer of the man of God tonight, the whole thing release her. She is free now. She can do, move about. She is free. God is not a man, neither the son of man. He will never change, neither will he repent. Hallelujah. Amen. 
and what God has done for others, He will do for you. We will be ending here tonight, but I want to.